you know, management is very fad oriented. Uh, manage, there's, a, there's a flavor of the minute. It's merging or it's uh, outsourcing or whatever. Uh, but what was really lacking in the field and, and really continues to be a, a great challenge is, is really an underlying framework for, for what are the true underlying principles, the true underlying economics of competition. So, uh, and, and I think that, that there's two or three of those that, that I would highlight here. I think number one, uh, you know, to, 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 to compete successfully, you've got to have the appropriate goal. Uh, this is one of the biggest problems in America today. The businesses have the wrong goal. They're, they're trying to maximize shareholder value. But that's actually the wrong goal. That, if you measure shareholder value by the stock price, that says that you're trying to please shareholders. Uh, if you start out with a goal of trying to please shareholders, you will destroy your company. It's 100% certain in my experience. The right goal for any business uh, is to achieve a superior return on investment. And, uh, and so you've got to start with the right goal. You've got to start fundamentally with the principle that any true competitive success requires uniqueness. It, it requires you to be different. It requires you to create some different form of value than, than your competitors do. Yet so many companies today just mindlessly imitate their competitors. Uh, they, they try to replicate best practices. They, they, they follow the latest trend. And so, I mean, again, we could go on. But those two simple insights, um, uh, I, I think, are extraordinarily important in separating successful enterprises or nonprofits or, or governments even from, from others. One